Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, previous, previously, uh, we did this um, simple double hung window, and today let's have um, let's have a have some some fun. So we're going to um, make this window uh, operable, so uh, literally. Okay, so we're going to open and close uh, the windows. Okay, so let's do it. So first, let's go to uh, elevation. So previously we set, so you can see we uh, lock this window panel onto, so see this, lock onto this reference plane. Okay, so, and also we lock this panel onto this reference plane. So first we need to unlock them, okay, unlock them. And then um, we need to create something so we can lock. Uh, it can be a reference plan and also can be reference line. So we are going to use reference line for this um, for this uh, this for this uh, exercise because uh, I'll show you why. <laughs> okay, so first, so I'm going to use my keyboard to move up this panel. A little bit. So when we later, later on, when we, when I uh, use a line, uh, it will be easier to pick this uh, edge. Same. I'm going to move this panel down. Okay. So now I'm going to create a reference line. And for this reference line, I'm going to just draw it from this end to this end. Okay. So this end to this end. And then I'm going to um, actually, I want to lock this reference line onto this edge. So maybe, uh, okay, so first I want to align this reference line onto this reference plane. So I'll use align AL, lock, and also I want to use, um, uh, I want to use AL, align, on, and lock this reference line onto this edge. So let's, let me try, okay, so this and and this should be it, lock. And the same, this edge, and this, and lock. So now let's have a look in 3D view. So you should be able to see the reference line. So one thing about um, reference line is you can see them in 3D view, okay? So see this one. And then we're going to add another one. So another reference line, and from so actually, I'm going to uncheck this chain. This, um, I'm not sure, uh, this might allow me to directly lock, see, these two. So if you un uncheck the chain, you can directly lock them onto something. So depending on where you draw this reference line. Now, I'll use AL align and lock this reference line onto the reference plane and lock and all. Good. So now what I need to do now is, oh, hang on. Uh, no, 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 sorry, I was wrong. So I don't want to lock this reference line onto this. I don't want to lock this reference line onto this reference plane because I want to move it. I want to open the window, right? So let's select this reference line. And where's my lock here? So unlock it, move it down, OK? Same. Select this reference line, unlock it, and move it up a little bit. So now, a uh, before I lock this panel onto the reference line, I want to add a dimension. So from this reference plane to this reference line, and same this reference plane to this reference line. And now we can select these two and create a. Uh, parameter. So um, I don't know what uh, should we call it. Open openness. <laughs> oh, offset. Okay, offset. Um, it will be instance. And okay. So now we can align this panel onto this reference line. So reference line and the edge of the panel. Same reference line, the edge of the panel. OK, so now let's have a look in 3D view. So we can, it's already op uh, open a little bit here. So we can, we can go um, adjust 
just the parameter. So here, this one. So for example, if I type in zero, uh, the window will be closed, right? And we type in, depending how much um, uh, the distance, so 200, so which means that's opened um, by 200. So same here, yeah. 300. Okay, so that's it. And also another thing about this, about the uh, because we use reference line, is so I'll show you why. Go create a new project and I'll load this family into this project. So I'll draw a wall, W A, go to 3D view, place a window. Oops, <laughs> not not a desk, sorry, window. Okay, so these are the window. And you you can see this. This is the um, why we use reference line. So you can you can go here, go uh, property, change this okay to clo close and open. You can also just drag this to okay, so let's close it. Oops, sorry. I think that's probably I just Go go a little bit too uh, too much, so maybe change this one to zero. Okay, if you wanted to open it, you can drag it up. Oops, no, oh, <laughs> I broke it. And yeah, so basically this is it. Um, what else? Okay, so let's go to um. Uh, south elevation. Okay, so um, we we miss we we there something missing here. So we need a dash line to show where the panel behind this panel. Okay, so um, one option is you can use view and you show hidden line and click on the window twice and this will show anything behind that or um, but it's not perfect. Because sometimes you will see, depending on the uh, complexity of the window, sometimes it, uh, too, it will show too many hidden lines. So not good. So for this uh, family, we probably only need one uh, dash line here to show where the the, the panel uh, at the back is. So let me just um, remove hidden line first. So we can just add this. Uh, hidden line in the family. So first, let's go. Um, I want to maybe I'll just first open this window by uh, 100. Okay, so and then I want to go to interior because uh, yeah, so this is correct. So in this interior elevation, so you you will see this uh, at in the front, and then you can this one's at the back. So what we can do is we can draw a hidden line and uh, at the front of on this panel, on this uh, glass panel. Okay, so we can do this. So first we need to create set work plan. So uh, pick a plan. Uh, we can pick on this glass uh, glass surface and then we can use, um, let me think which one should we should use, maybe we can just use model line. I think model line should be fine. So model line, and uh, we're going to choose a, so correct sub subcategory um, for this one, I think should be hidden and projection. Okay, so draw line, pick line. So maybe we'll change this to wireframe WF, and then we just need to pick a line. So for this one, I think I'll just pick this line. And I'll check the lock and pick this one. And also, I want to lock the at the edge, the end point onto the frame. I think so. I'll just A L. So maybe I'll just do this. Select this, and together with this uh, control, select this and H I. So now we only have these two elements. Now we can A L on this edge and lock on this edge. And lock. So now HR, and this is it. now changed to HL. So now we have a hit, hit 
a hidden line here. So, and then we can change the, when we change the opening, so for example, count is zero, oh, sorry, count is 100, if I change to zero, oops, something's not right, let me change it to 50. Okay, looks like something's not right. Um, I think we have some issue with the constraint. It won't allow us to lock onto that edge. Mm, um, don't give up. Let's just try again. So WF, I'll manually try this. So align on this edge, pick this one, lock. Try again. So HR first, and let's try uh, 100 again. Okay, so this time it works. So it seems um, we need to use a line tool. We can't just pick a line and use that lock box. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's it. Okay, and the same. So if I go to the other side exterior, so we will see this panel first, right? Uh, in the front, and then this panel at the back. So we can just do the same thing to so WF. So I'm going to just create, so, and the set work plan first, and pick a plan, and I want to pick this, um, or actually, I because, I because I changed to wireframe, it's a little bit hard to pick the plan, pick the face, so maybe I'll change this to hidden line first, and pick a plan, and pick this, because I have this one, um, so it, you can, you will see if, if you have this option, um, Enabled so select element by face you can directly pick face if you if you don't have this one You need to move your cursor onto the edge uh, In order to pick this surf, uh, face. Okay, so now let's pick this word plan and um, Wire frame WF and draw a model line and I'm going to use this and maybe I'll just unlock it uh, uh, and We will do a line to lock it Pick this line, okay, and then select this line together with this frame, um, maybe, and this panel as well. <laughs> HI, okay, so AL on this edge, on this end point of this uh, model line, lock, edge, and this, and lock. And also, we need to lock this one, so tab, tab, so first pick the edge pick the um, edge of this panel and then pick this model line in the lock or oh, good hr so now have a test uh, change to hidden line first hl so see this hidden line to show the back uh, the where this panel is and and let's try 100 yeah all good and now we can load this into the family and then it will show a hidden line. So depending, and also it depends on um, the scale. So when you change the scale, so you can see one to two, uh, 20, you can see that's the different pattern, okay? So that's it. So now you can tell uh, this, uh, yeah, because overlapping these two, overlapping, so you don't, you can't see, but if once you, once you open it or you can tell, you can tell this panel's in the front, right? This panel's in the front because this is uh, interior. And if I if I go to north, um, this is from outside. I change the scale to 50, and you can tell this panel, the panel on the top, is uh, in the front, and this panel is in the back. Okay, so um, yeah, I think this is it. Um, and let me just have a look, quick look at uh, this one. Okay, so I just also noticed um, you, someone uh, upload this one. Um, it's quite interesting. I will have a look and see if we can make this happen. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.